Hi Pisces, I'm here for another general and collective reading for the Pisces. It's not a personal reading, so just take what resonates with you, leave what doesn't for the next person. If you would like a personal reading with me, a one-on-one -on -one session, if you would like to join any of our workshops or courses, check out the box below. It has my website and it has my email. Thank you for all of your love. Thank you for all of your support. And thank you for being here with me, Pisces, Soul Tribe, and Cross Watchers. If my energy resonates with you, feel free to subscribe and click on the notification bell so you can know when the next reading does come out. We do have the Garden Paradise that's already starting to come out. Aries season, Pisces. We are in Aries season. There's a lot of fire, a lot of purification, a lot of ascension. You know, um, I've been seeing a lot of people who are feeling it very physically, whether it's getting sick, feeling it physically, headaches or things like that. So just know too that that's all clearing. All right, let's get a reading for you, Pisces. Divine Mother, Divine Father, what do we have for the Pisces today? For the highest good and for the highest good of all. You have Phoenix rising, Pisces, and new creations. All right, a Phoenix rising. And that is the energy of like the bird and the fire rising from the ashes, allowing that fire to purify whatever is not of your highest good and rising from it. Uh, we're going to grab a few more cards, Pisces. Here's the Phoenix rising. What do we have for Phoenix rising for the Pisces? You can do it. Remember your identity. So remember who you are. Twin flame facilitator, expansive growth. Um, definitely a lot of expansion this season and uh, things are just moving very quickly too. You do have separation in reverse, you know, so I don't feel like you're, 144 as I say that, okay? So I actually don't feel like you're in a separation. I feel like you're in a lot of inner union, you know, um, and it was 144 as I looked at the clock. Remember who you are, remember your identity, you can do it, okay? Definitely like an upsurge of power over here. Probably feeling a lot of that Aries energy, Pisces. But again, whenever you come across this video, it can be for you. I do have the number 53 that could mean something to you or 222. Life force energy again, okay? And then we have safe space again over here. Life force energy. And that's what I was feeling. It's like the um, energy rising. Um, for some, definitely, there could be a lot of Kundalini awakenings right now. Kundalini rising. Um, that's your life force energy, your chi okay bottom of the deck is safe space i'm gonna grab one more card for you pisces what do we have for you can do it phoenix rising and life force energy and so just pisces like yes you're rising i feel like a lot of that is like within it's a lot of like uh energy rising um ascension you've done a lot of shadow work pisces and so there's a lot of light that's just coming in right now you could be seeing rainbows as well. Divine Mother, Divine Father, what do we have for you can do it? Phoenix rising and life force energy. We have corals, wisdom, colony, delicacy, fragility, works that are created over great periods of time, okay? And then it says what you contemplate can actualize, okay? Definitely a lot of energy here, a lot of rising, could be working on something there's an importance here of like patience and and things taking time whatever it is that you're doing um there's an energy here pisces of not expecting like the quick result we live in a world in a society where everything's quick what's coming through is like fast food the internet everything is quick which that's like, that's true, right? We think about the reason why our society is becoming so quick, it's, it reflects telepathy, you know? And so it's actually on the darker side where everything else is quick and we're not going within. But, um, so that's like an aside. Maybe that means something for someone. But this, it's this beautiful energy Pisces where like there's a lot of power here. But there's also such stillness. There's such fire, but there's such stillness as well. You know what's very random that's coming through? Some of you have varicose veins, and I know it's very random. Varicose veins. Like this reading could be for you if you have it. By the way, they're fucking beautiful for anyone who thinks otherwise. Um, but varicose veins is coming through. Um, veins in general, the veins of leaves, 
a lot of DNA activation right now. Okay, so just know that too. There's a lot of DNA activation. Um, take your time integrating. It may not be tomorrow. It may not be next week, but there's a lot going on. Okay, so especially if you don't see anything going on, there's a lot of unseen going on as soon as someone texts me yes. Okay, all right. What do we have for You Can Do It, Soul Radiance, Life Force Energy, and Coral's Wisdom? What do we have? The Magician, Pisces. You're embodying this Magician energy. You know, that's creating your own reality. The Magician has one arm up, one arm down, bringing the heavens down to earth, bringing the ethers to earth, earthing something, okay? You are creating something. You're calling things into your reality. Why the Magician here for Pisces? Oh, wow. Ace of Wands. Yeah, there's a lot of fire here, Pisces. A lot of fire. You're really calling things in. Ace of Wands, it's passion. It's purpose. Um, it is that life force energy. Why do we have Ace of Wands with the Magician? Why do we have Ace of Wands? The Wheel of Fortune. Okay. Things are shifting for you, Pisces. Definitely an energy of being patient. You know, knowing that great things take time, whether it's yourself, whether it's a project or whatever it is. Why do we have the Wheel of Fortune? This is a beautiful energy, Pisces. You do have Page of Wands, you have the Empress, you have the King of Wands over here. All right, there's a lot of fire here. Again, we're in airy season. Passion, purpose, uh, whatever that fire is for you, Pisces. I do... This fire, too, kind of represents something that's non-tangible. Could be an idea, a project, or it's just like your creative energy. And then the, um, the camera actually dimmed its light a little bit when I said that. Why the Page of Wands with the Empress? The Star card. Pisces, you're shining right now. Why the Star card for Page of Wands and the Empress? You have King of Pentacles. You could be getting the attention of like a Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn kind of energy. Also with whatever is going on in your life right now, Pisces, um, just know there's this heavy energy where there's a lot felt, but maybe you just don't see it in your physical reality yet. Keep on having hope, faith, trust, okay? What's this King of Pentacles here for Pisces? Why the King of Pentacles for Pisces? Why the King of Pentacles for Pisces? Why the King of Pentacles for Pisces? Who is the King of Pentacles? Who is the King of Pentacles for Pisces? Bottom of the deck. Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, Aquarius energy. Why do we have the four of coins? Why do we have the seven of swords? Why do we have the two of wands? This came out in another reading, Pisces. We do have a page of pentacles on the bottom of the deck. There's a Taurus Virgo Capricorn energy that was being like a little bit sneaky here. Kind of holding something from you. Could have to do with money. It doesn't have to do with money. Um, but it's, we had another reading that was a little bit similar. Um, I feel like things, things have been withheld from you kind of behind your back a little bit. Um, why the Seven of Swords with the Eight of Wands? Okay, you have the Three of Wands over there and then the King of Swords. It says Established Strength. Why the full card for this King of Pentacles? Yes, Pisces. This is someone who thought that they could play you as a fool. You have the Seven of Swords here, Four of Coins, Two of Wands. They kind of thought that like you just wouldn't see certain things. Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, masculine energy, it's all within. Um, again, you have the Empress with the Page of Wands and you do have the Queen of Wands. I feel like you're more embodying this fire energy. Um, for the King of Pentacles clarified by the fool, a young energy, um, I usually see it as like a, a pure type of energy, but I feel like this is someone who thought that they could play you as a fool because to further clarify the King of Pentacles and the Fool, you have the Ten of Swords, you have the Strength card, okay? And so this, 
person maybe thought that there was just certain things that like wouldn't get by you you know i do feel like though um whatever's happened in the unseen it's more transmuting for you okay it's transmuting in your favor you have the ace of wands you have the wheel of fortune the magician things are transmuting in your favor why the queen of wands with the eight of wands the hierophant okay things are coming in for you contracts you have knight of pentacles things are coming in for you if you felt any installments if there's maybe a king of pentacles energy here that's you know been in your life for whatever reason at all and there's things that are unseen it's not going to prosper it's not going to work pisces it's truly transmuting in your favor 33 seconds again no weapon form shall prosper doesn't mean that they won't form but it will be used in your favor why the hierophant over here ace of cups it will be used in your favor three of swords one four four as soon as i say that pisces okay so you're being blessed over here your cup is being overflowed what like in any way that anyone would ever try to keep things from you whether it's even just information money whatever it is it's not going to work pisces okay so just know that and again weapons no weapon shall prosper doesn't mean weapons will not form okay um why the hierophant with the ace of cups for pisces the lovers okay there's a lot of beautiful things coming in for you here pisces why the lovers you have the eight of swords why the lovers with the eight of swords you have justice over here and who is the lovers judgment okay there's someone that's under judgment over here pisces um you have eight of swords you have the justice card this is either physically or spiritually it could be either one court system spiritual system spiritual court why judgment with the lovers the devil six of cups you know who this person is taurus virgo capricorn energy you know who this person is. They're either under like judgment or they're under spiritual judgment right now. Why the devil card? Rest from strife. Um, I do feel like they're gonna be at the point where like they're kind of actually praying. Uh, Four of swords over here, like realizing like, whoa, like I'm under judgment, okay? So they're under judgment in their life. Um, again, they're under judgment. Why the four of swords with the devil card? You have the seven of cups here why the four of swords with the devil card ace of pentacles okay things are coming in for you pisces you definitely could have been the one praying over here okay just one more card for the rest from strife four of swords the hermit card you could have gone within um a lot of taurus virgo capricorn energy here praying why the seven of pentacles with the ace of pentacles you have the five of cups over here Two of Swords. Can you clarify what's in my head? Why the... We're actually going to use the other deck. Why the Seven of Pentacles with the Ace of Pentacles? Why the Seven of Pentacles with the Ace of Pentacles? Four of Cups. Um, what I was getting from the Seven of Pentacles and Ace of Pentacles, Pisces, it's almost like this person they kind of looked at you as if like you had something like illusionary they like especially if this has to do with money like they think that you're they're just assuming that you have all this stuff and stuff like that like they're just really triggered by you um totally judging you or like it's the envy jealousy type of energy pisces because what i'm seeing is they think the reason why they've been acting like this or doing this is like they think that again illusionary success they think you have all this stuff you have the five of cups here you have the four of cups what's the seven of pentacles what's the seven of cups with the ace of pentacles strategy in reverse Okay, I do feel like it's like this person just thought that you were doing something or that you had something that they didn't have. I, I get a message as soon as I say that. Um, but they're realizing that they were like wrong. Why the four of cups with the five of cups here? Why the four of cups with the five of cups? The door to spirit. You do have second chakra, Archangel Ariel, the sacral chakra.
you get your this is from God how much time do I have left three percent this person is kind of envious or jealous of you they've been a little bit sneaky but the root of it is jealousy you get your things from God. They think that like you have all these different things. It's just God. Door to spirit. Four of cups, five of cups. It's almost like they're wondering like how do they do it? And like they want to project onto you. But they're just like totally in like some sort of like envy or jealousy. This person wanted to stop you. They wanted to stop what you were doing. You can't stop God. I feel like this person is bored with their own life and kind of looking at your life. Kind of misassuming. I don't think that's a word. Um, but like not assuming correctly either. Why the Four of Cups with the Five of Cups here? Ace of Cups. Okay, this is yours. The reason why, dang man, they're kind of shifting their perspective. I feel like whatever it is that they did, um, God, God is showing them who you are. Um, I feel like they've done enough and so they're actually facing some sort of like spiritual court type of thing um, Again, it's more of like judgment. You are always your own judgment But I do feel like this is a way that God is kind of showing them themselves um, Ace of Cups Like however they view you or again, like I just feel like they have a distorted view of you Like oh, that person has it all those like illusionary success like they think that like you have all this stuff but like it's it's just God. Like, again, there's the jealousy part. Or it's the type of thing where it's like, people people be jealous of your struggle. Eight of Pentacles. I feel like you've worked hard for certain things, but like, it's really weird that people can even like be, be jealous of your struggle. All right. Why the Ace of Cups for Pisces? Why do we have the Ace of Cups here for Pisces? You have temperance, okay? Balance, four of wands, which is celebration. You know, um, this is yours, Pisces, okay? You've worked hard to attain this peace, to attain this balance. Um, and this person just has a very illusionary and distorted view of you, but it's just them. The chariot, okay? You do have the hierophant. Why do we have the chariot here? nine of pentacles okay i do feel like you're going to cut this person out though over here there's things that you don't see with the moon card the nine of pentacles has someone cutting someone's hair you're cutting those cords pisces you need to cut those cords one more card for the nine of pentacles on the chariot knight of swords you need to cut those cords okay seven of cups um because this person, it's only dangerous in the fact that they um, they are actually jealous of you. And um, it's not good to have that energy around you. Can I have Pisces energy? What's Pisces energy? What is Pisces energy over here? What is Pisces energy over here? You have the Tower card. You have the Four of Pentacles, you have the World card. I do feel like you have to release this. As soon as you release this, there's gonna be a big shift in your life. The Tower card is something that hits suddenly, and then you have the World card, which is a brand new cycle. Why do we have the Four of Pentacles here? Yeah, you have the Knight of Swords. As soon as you release this is when things shift for you, Pisces. Four of Swords over here. That Knight of Swords energy is very quick. Um, the page of swords was actually over here, but it's still the sword energy of cutting things out, protecting yourself. As soon as four of pentacles, whatever you're holding on to, the tower card, as soon as it's released, okay? The world card, things shift for you. Why the world card? Why the world card? Pisces, there's someone else coming into your life. You need to cut this person out of your life because it's taking up energy in your energetic field. And there's actually someone else coming. Lover's card with the Knight of Cups. There's someone else that's coming. One more card for the Lovers and Knight of Cups. You do have the Three of Swords over here. Why the Three of Swords for the Lovers and the Knight of Cups? Knight of Wands. Okay, so first, and then the Empress energy. For some of you Pisces, you need to let someone go from your life. They're hiding things behind your back. There is a, a lusty energy over here. You need to cut it out. 
I don't care how good it is. I don't care what the per like you need to cut it out. Three of Swords, Knight of Wands, the Lover's card. This person has third parties. This person is lusty. And as soon as you cut this out, you're going to, it's almost like there's like a cord. As soon as you cut the cord, there's so much that comes into your life. This energy over here, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, is taking your energy. Even that person being in your energetic field, it's taking your energy. There's a lot of subconscious with this person. Uh, what's the advice for Pisces? I had to put my phone on the charger, but it comes back on at 144. You're shifting your perspective over here, Pisces, okay, on the situation, on this person. Um, heavy on the Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn energy over here. Also, when it comes to just that energy that was a little bit more in the beginning, this person, it's like they think that you have more than you actually have. They're really just like jealous of your light. And they think that you have more than you have, and that's why they're being sneaky, but... Um, like it's not gonna work. Why the hangman for the Pisces for advice? You're also gonna realize how how trapping this is. Why the hangman over here for Pisces advice? Ten of Swords, you and then Ace of Pentacles. You're gonna shift your perspective on how you view this Pisces, this situation, this person. There's a lot unseen here. If it has to do with love, there's 100% third parties. It's 100% lust. Um, and as soon as you cut this out, you need to like cut it completely though. 111, as soon as you cut it out, your whole reality shifts. This is actually a test for you, Pisces. Five of Swords over here. Are you gonna hold on to it? Um, as soon as you cut this person completely out of your life, your whole reality completely shifts. But this is a test for you if you're actually going to do that. All right, that's what I have for you, Pisces. I hope it resonates. I'm going to be grabbing some Oracle cards of advice. Again, if you would like a personal reading, a one-to-one -one session, or anything else, check out the box below. We do have 33% off of all Akashic records this month, so check that out as well. You have Sensitivity, King Neptune. Okay, could be sensitive right now, maybe even with the emotions. It does feel like there's a lot here. I'm gonna grab one more card from this deck. We have Earth Magic over here. And and then Ra, share your gift. Um, for some of you, just in general, um, from the beginning of this reading, right? There's a lot rising. You have, you're having a Phoenix rising. That's also why all of this is happening. Also just be aware, light workers, light workers are being projected on like crazy, all over. Energy has shifted and people are really projecting onto light workers be safe out there not that there's anything ever to fear but right now light workers if you're a light worker maintain your boundaries i don't care what anyone thinks um i get a message as soon as i say that as soon as i say that to you i don't care what anyone thinks friends family lovers whatever it is have your boundaries because light workers right now all of those energies are going to be coming in to distract in any way shape form or effect okay so own your magic own who you are stay focused because there is a lot of distracting energy right now that's its assignment that's what it's supposed to do don't fall into it what else do we have for pisces intuition there you go listen to your whispers of the listen to the whispers of your heart use divination tools to help you decide trust your intuition no matter what pisces light workers forget pisces light workers Right now is a big time to be careful of the people around you. Doesn't mean that you have to cut them out, but know who they are, 333, and have those boundaries. There are people that are in your life. Number one, past life energy of clearing. Two, the assignment is to distract you. And it's in different ways that this is happening. Use your intuition no matter what. You do have leadership over here. Step into your leadership, share your message, inspire and empower others. I'm gonna grab two more cards. We're gonna grab a twin flame deck just to see what the energy is over here. What do we have for Pisces? I love how that fell out. You know what's interesting, Pisces? This is the second time this reading that go within is in reverse. I do feel like Pisces, you are healing separation because it says seven, seven healing separation. I don't feel like you're in that energy. Okay. Uh, you have divine masculine over here as well. Seven, seven. 
feel like you're doing a good job of healing the separation wounding. Again, when I, never ever Pisces or anyone watching, anyone who ever says that you will completely heal your separation wound, do not listen to them. I mean, you can, and maybe I should not say that, but our separation wound starts from the second the light and the dark separated. It started the second that we became human and separate from God. It's not just about, I'm separated from my masculine or feminine. It's separation from God. As long as there's a human experience, there will be separation wounding. That will never go away. That's a message for some, some people. When it comes to your twin flame journey, do not expect to heal the separation wound completely. As long as you're a human, it's going to be there because you are separate from God. And you're not separate from God, but you're here to remember that you are not separate. Thus, there's a separation wound. Because we came here and we forgot. And now we are remembering. So some people just need to hear that too. When it comes to the twin flame journey, number one, you're not going to be completely fully healed or whatever. When you meet your twin flame, soulmate, whatever it is. Two, shift your perspective on the separation wound. Because as long as you're a human, that's going to be there to a certain extent, 555. The second the light and the dark separated, that's when the separation wound started. Way before human time. So it's an ancient, it's our deepest wound in this universe. So just embrace it. And in every single moment, remember that you're not separate. Remember that you're whole. Remember that you're always home. But I do feel like someone needed to hear that today. I feel like there's someone who's like just trying to like focusing really on the separation, boom, blah, blah, blah. If you're a human, it's going to be there to a certain extent. So just always remember that you are, that you're never separate from anyone, anything. Okay, I'm going to pick these up and then grab a final message. What do we have for the Pisces today as a final message for this reading? We're going to take all of it and I'm getting a call. Bottom of the deck, planting something new. We have a few different um, messages. I have building your world, creation, expansion, networking, releasing constraints. There's a lot coming in here for you, Pisces. You have divine mother, the beautiful feminine energy, miracles, ancient wisdom. Um, again, from the beginning of this reading, there's a lot of life force energy, a lot of ascension, a lot of downloads. Okay, remember the divine mother, work with the divine mother, come into the sacred heart, nurture, compassion, grace. Um, be in the feminine energy of just receiving. Uh, just say releasing constraints. All right, the feminine energy just receives. We're in airy season, so there's definitely that masculine energy um, that's just also doing, doing the work and kind of aligning to receive. All right, and then you do have miracles though, Pisces. Ancient wisdom. There's a lot here for you. Yes, there's this other stuff, but just know there's a lot here for you. It's why you need to maintain your boundaries right now. See things for as they are. Use your intuition. And that's what I have for you, Pisces. I hope that this resonates. I'm sending you all so much love, and I hope that you have a beautiful day.